past 60 years has been a massive decline in foreign missions. I'm sharing the gospel through church planting. In the 1930s, if somebody gave $10 in Thai, they'd give an additional $6 in foreign missions. Today, just 28 cents. We're doing the best we can with what we have, but I'm still not satisfied. Over two billion people in the world today still have no access to the gospel. God's crazy in love with the Thai people, and I sense His Spirit hovering over the city. I've come to Bangkok, Thailand to discover the truth about foreign missions. Come with me as I follow my good friend, Pastor Doug Van, in his everyday life as a frontline missionary. I prayed for God's biggest dream, and He gave me this city of 12 million. Welcome to my world. I'm here at the headquarters of the Thailand Adventist Mission. It rained a lot last night, and it seems as though there's a bit of a leak. We came to work today, and we uh, found that we had a swimming pool. There was about a centimeter of water in here. Um, the water actually here, I'll let... We think that the water came um, down from this, um, this seam here, because the, you can see here these secretaries, they're, all of their work is just like completely soaked. This book here, just like completely saturated. Just all this, this entire uh, area just completely soaked. These are the Sabbath school lessons that uh, they were getting ready. Uh, Supop uh, was getting ready for uh, for Bangkok. Luckily, she got the rest of the country's order out yesterday. On this side, you can see her her lessons. These are the registrations uh, from the, uh, for the Voice of Prophecy Discover Bible School. And so because the school is an official school registered with the government, she's saying that you know we have to have you know the school records. Has this happened before, John? Not man, just just a little bit, you know. Right. But you can see and you can clean it. But but this is uh, very heavy. You see my cannot sit. Uh, your chair is soaked. This is a, uh, another day in the mission field. <laughs> We're going to a church plant on the other side of the city. It takes about an hour and a half to get there, and I started wondering... In those neighborhood that we're driving through right now, is there any Adventist presence in it? There are no Adventists in this neighborhood right now. We drove another 20 minutes and I asked him again. And we're here in one of the central business districts. There's no Adventists. Are there any other communities in, in Bangkok that don't have Adventist presence yet? Bangkok has 50 districts. There's actually now 23 church plants across the city and seven established churches. Some have closed, others have started over the last uh, five and a half years. There's some others that are kind of incubating. Tonbury right now where we're going to, they're uh, having some other small groups that they're starting and so in time they will also then expand and multiply and have uh, other church plants and so that's kind of the, the 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 goal is to expand the work is there any adventist church in this there's no adventist church in this neighborhood here why not we don't have enough workers others would say we don't have enough money and others may say that there's not enough faith Okay, so you've got 50 we districts and 29 yet. or 30 <laughs> churches and church plants. Correct. But if you look at the greater Bangkok metro area, according to Wikipedia, it's around... We'll have to look at Wikipedia. <laughs> it, it, I think it's like 1,200 um, uh, square kilometers. It's easy to point to because I just have to look on the map on my wall. That's the Bangkok metro area. Every color on here is like a political, uh, you know, district. This pink area, uh, there's nothing. This green area, nothing. And here in blue and orange and this green area, nothing. And in this kind of pink and yellow area, green area. Downtown, if you call it downtown, we have nothing. Um, by the airport, we have nothing. So yeah, we just... We still have the majority of the city to reach. 
and uh, although we praise God for the success, we could just do a driving tour and it would probably take us a week to do it and just to go to all the neighborhoods that there are no Adventists in, there are no schools or they've never heard about the three angels message and what Jesus is wanting to do in our lives today and the hope that we have in Him and His grace and His soon return. Are there any church We're now in the, uh, this. we just passed the Siloam exit and there's no Seventh-day Adventist church in this neighborhood either. Again, this is another one of the central business districts here in Bangkok and we don't have the funds for staff, we don't have the funds for the rental or buying a place. I don't think we could afford to even buy a, but there's places you can see there's a retail shop and restaurant space for rent. So we could go there. I can see how the progress of the gospel is directly affected by the decline in giving. During the 20th century, prosperity in North America increased on a scale never before seen in human history, as you can see reflected in this graph of tithe. But with the increased wealth came a huge decline in giving to foreign missions, to the point where today they can barely maintain what is already established, much less venture into new territory. We've now crossed the river and there are no established churches. All we have on this side of the river is church plants. We've been traveling for about an hour and a half now. Is there a church plant in this neighborhood? Yes, there's a church plant here in this neighborhood. Thanks to the sacrifice and the vision of actually one of our physicians, Dr. Supachai, in partnership with one of our laymen, Brother Weenai, we have a church plant here. And this is just kind of a, a normal Bangkok neighborhood and people live in these kind of um, shop houses and they'll have their work uh, you know, on one level and then their bedrooms and houses you know, are on you know, second, third or fourth floors. So you can see our neighbors here, you know, she's fixing clothes. Mr. You know, here, our, our neighbor, he makes noodles. And that's the church plant. And then the church plant is these two shop houses next to it. It's, a, it's not really a cathedral, is it? Uh, it is actually it's a cathedral where God's glory can be seen in the people, in the lives of the people whose uh, lives have been changed. It blends really well. Right, well, we're right where the people are. So many of these people here are coming from this community. Because over the last five years, this church plant has been doing consistent daily community service and through that we've been able to, to gain the trust as well as then develop relationships. People have been able to see Jesus Christ. Mm. I'm here now with uh, Winai and Winai is one of our church members. Can you tell us the story? How did this place start? Yeah, it began in the year of 2005. Mm. On that year the tenants who were living in these two shop houses informed me that he would be living in a few months. So I was in place to dedicate these two buildings to God. Mm. So I approached the Thailand Adventist mission. Mm -hmm. I told them that we have these two shop houses and we want it to be used for the cause of God as a gospel outreach center. Mm -hmm. So I approached that pastor and he was quite enthusiastic. He made an appointment with me and he said, well, let's go and look at the place. After a few weeks, I learned that this pastor had sent this proposal to Chinese church. Since it's close to Chinese church, the matter went to the board of Chinese church. Even though most of the members were not quite supportive. But Dr. Supachai, who was one of their team, mm -hmm. I think the Lord impressed him that to, to move forward with this plan. Mm -hmm. So he talked with me, he said, let's do it together, we'll mm -hmm. renovate everything, and then have it started. Weenai, thank you for sharing that, uh, that perspective. As uh, we've worked together over this last almost six years, I've seen how our laymen can sometimes step out by faith, and then the mission will then start to go forward as well. And so that's been a beautiful partnership. What advice would you say to the other laymen to have this kind of partnership? Because sometimes I, I sense that people just wait for the mission, or in our case, the church. Why aren't they doing anything? So what, what, what advice would you have to say? Yeah, I have to agree with you. There should be a cooperation between the lay people and 
the clergy, if you please, right. or the mission office in this case. Yeah. And I think that's what the spirit of prophecy also reveals, that the work will not be finished on the clergy side alone, but it needs the cooperation of the lay people. Right. The whole church needs to be involved. God calls everyone if you give your heart to Him and you surrender to Him. So what I would say to other lay people is that hear the call and move out by faith. God will provide and prepare everything for you. And He will do greater work than you can think. We've had uh, over 43 people come to Christ uh, and through the, the partnership between the church or the organized church, in our, in our case it's the Thailand Adventist Mission with uh, people like Winai and uh, our laymen working together to advance the gospel here across the city. Here comes the Pepsi guy. So. Do you believe that there's room for other church plants here in Bangkok? <laughs> I'm sure, because everywhere we go, there's a soul hungry and thirsty mm. for for God's work. Have you met anyone that's, that has never heard about Jesus before? Many of them. Many people here in Bangkok have never heard of Jesus? There are many of them who have never heard of Jesus. Some of them have heard the name Jesus, but they never understood what Jesus did for them and who very Jesus is. Are there any people in Bangkok that don't have access to learn about Jesus? I think a lot of them. We need these kind of church plants in every neighborhood across the city. There's 190,000 people just in this eight square kilometer uh, region called Tombri and so this is like super you know, super packed with people. How do you see foreigners from America getting involved with church plants? What are ways that they can help? Pastor Wen has mentioned earlier that we are offering uh, English teaching for spiritual purpose to the community in this area. And through that, many people have also accepted Christ. So, and one thing when people come to learn English, they expect to see Westerners native speakers. So I think in this way, if there would be some volunteers, in fact in the past there has been student volunteers coming in to help right. from United States yeah. and that has been a blessing for the people in this community at large. Right now we don't have those volunteers so there's still uh, opportunities to serve here in this community so we just pray that the Lord will call those to come and serve. How'd you get that painting up there? Well, like I said, this place is holy ground in the fact that when God moves upon someone's life, He also then gives a, a burden. So we had Corey Goodwin, he was a young adult animation major from Southern Adventist University. Mm -hmm. And he came to this church plant to help us with our video work. The Holy Spirit uh, moved on him and said, Pastor Van, I'd like to do a wall mural that we could then use that on an ongoing basis to share the gospel. Corey was inspired by Thai art and as a result he and our student missionaries working with some of the Thais then painted this wall mural depicting a Christ's second coming. That's crazy. Yeah. yeah. And so it's a living witness every day to the people. So what do the people think? It's caused a lot of conversation starters and I guess that's what we hope for is that whether it's through art or through our community service that then people can then say tell me that story what's going on or and tell me why are you guys doing this why are you serving this community Sorry, <laughs> So we'll visit with our neighbors. Later. Sorry, Sorry if, you, if, if you stand over there, we can then film. You can then uh, get Jesus in the picture too. Oh, <laughs> this is just a, like I said, the art is used as a conversation starter. And like uh, you know, our neighbor, he's the noodle man. He'll make noodles as the sermon is going on. And so he won't come to church, but he'll stand there and listen to the songs of praise as well as to the scripture, to the testimonies of how God is changing his neighbor's lives, as well as into the word of God. So how important is it? to be where the people are, in other words. It, it's vital. It's vital for us as Christians, and especially um, Seventh-day Adventists, to go. Because this is the command of Christ. It's not just through media ministry, not just through the printed word, but we're to go and have human contact with the people. I begin to wonder if the people there in the church plant valued this work. 
I'm here with uh, Witi Da, and uh, or her nickname is Kunmi. She first heard about the Seventh Day Adventist Church because she wanted to study English. You can soon meet, am I? Hi, hi. Here at this church plant. Uh, she was able to study uh, the Bible and study English here with our missionary Jackson Mugara, and then that's where she, uh, over time, was able to learn more. This is Mamiao, and she's one of the. Uh, she's a college student, and she uh, also her life was changed as a result of coming here to the church plant. Bunroam has watched English TV before, uh -huh. but she doesn't know what it means because she can't understand. I'm 45 now. You're, I'm 45 years old now, she says. And uh, three years ago, I was baptized, and so I first heard about Jesus here at this church plant when I was 42 years old. So I'm, I have greater happiness now than I did before. Are you happy that this church plant is here? So I'm very happy that uh, this church plant yeah. is here. To mine. In the past, I used to just live my life for myself, do my own thing, and um, just uh, live my life on my own. But now, uh, God, I've been able to see His love, and that's because of this church plant. Mm. You think these church plants are a good thing? Oh, she says um, they're good, but we need to have more of them. More of them. So we need to have more. Okay, around seven years ago is when she first uh, heard uh, the story about um, Jesus coming again and the uh, Adventist movement. We need to have like over 400 uh, uh, church plants here in Bangkok. Mm. So we're at 29 right now. So. 29 to 400. Uh, maybe yeah. next year. Sumawa, Pina. Oh, okay. oh C -SIP. Not oh, 400. Sorry. Uh, 40. Oh. Okay, sorry, I mistranslated. She said that maybe we could at least have 40. I like 400 better. Yeah. <laughs> 4,000. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, she said if we had 400, that would be good too. <laughs> 4,000? How about 4,000? Ani si pan. Right. And then that way, if we had 4,000 church plants, then even more people can know more. Yeah, we like uh, 7-Eleven. That's right. Bye bye, God bless you. Bye. bye. Hi, I'm Chris. I'm translating for her. Hi, Mio. Kang la le di chan dai pai ngan mahakam sukapap ti san hao san yan hao ma bun kong ha. Na ti ni ka ku ba. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I first know God because I ran into a health expo in MBK area, which is the, the biggest shopping district in Bangkok. And then I know more about uh, health and thank God I learned that my body is a temple of God and that I need to take care of it. And then I came to church because of a friend and he's a teacher. Tibo, me Titi Mahasinit. And today we have a communion service. As we were doing a communion service, eating the bread and drinking the wine. And as I closed my eyes, I thought about how Jesus was crucified on the cross. I don't know why, but I just cried. My tears just ran out. It is as if Jesus is telling me to be humble. And asking the Holy Spirit to once again dwell in me. Just as I am Without one plea But that your blood was shed for me Now you bid me to come to Thee, O Lamb of God. I 
come ไม่รู้จะทำอะไรดีอ่ะแบบโทรเล่นๆนะแบบหยิบขึ้นมาโทรหนึ่งสาม There was one time as a Buddha she ran out of hope there was no more hope in her life and she went to the th third story of the building and she was going to jump off and then end her life and then that's where the Holy Spirit impressed her to then call and she didn't know who to call and so she just called directory assistance and the operator came online and said to her what number do you want and she's like um, Give me a Christian church. She didn't know why she said that, but she can look back and see that was God's spirit working in her life. Then she found a church in her own neighborhood, and that's our church plant. And I was asking her, what did she feel about that? And she says, man, we've got to go out and share the gospel to give everyone a chance to hear the gospel for the first time. And then that way they can hear God's word uh, every day. And so then that way it can be a blessing and that way the hope that she has and how God has answered her prayers and worked in her life and provided for the things in her life that can be shared with so many others who've never heard. How would she feel if this church plant was shut down? Uh, <laughs> She'd, she'd be broken hearted if it's really going to happen. Not in my time. She doesn't like your question. I'm sorry. <laughs> Can you say Chirai? Chilen? Uh, it's difficult to. to, to I know. It's like, <laughs> this is Kun <laughs> Ui. And um, I had the privilege of baptizing her uh, last year. When did you first hear uh, about Jesus? And how old were you? Uh, my life is the better because I don't fear any future because uh, I think God is stand by me all away all time. How about your family? Any when was the first time that they heard about Jesus? After I I, I baptized. Her parents were 53 years old when they first heard the story about Jesus. They think Jesus is very very kind to uh, help the people. They're very happy to mm. hear. Yeah. The town that you grew up in, are there any Christians in that town? I think no. Thank you. Okay, so church planting can work. Yeah, when the church planting projects are neighborhood based, we've seen that a greater kind of contact. I guess it would be like Christ can be seen more clearly because of the fact that the people live here and the outreach and the service that they offer to the community people can see on a day in day out basis. And it's not that we're just Seventh Day Adventists drive in for church on Saturday and we're there at the church for three hours and then we everyone goes home. Here in this setting we're here seven days a week. The team lives here, the team serves here and they share God's love every day and through their life and witness. The special funding program for these church plants is coming to an end and mission giving is continuing to decline at a rate of about 5% per year. But there are still thousands of neighborhoods in Bangkok and other cities that have never seen a Christian and are waiting for someone to live among them and show them what a Christian looks like. Maybe it's you. Maybe you're the one to share the good news through your life. Maybe you'll make friends, learn a culture, or a new skill along the way. But isn't that what Christ did? You can even give on your tithe envelope in the place marked World Budget. And what a difference you could make. And wouldn't it be awesome if the leaders in Thailand had the resources to open hundreds more centers just like this one? We're just uh, landed on another part of Bangkok. There's 190 buildings, you know, these apartment complex in this uh, housing project. It's like a forest. And we're gonna go to a small group right now, and this is uh, another government housing project that were just built for the factory workers in this area. There's all kinds of factories, and so let's go check it out.
้าแต่พระเจ้าขอบคุณพระองค์ที่อย่างวันนี้เราทั้งหลายได้มีโอกาสมาอยู่ที่นี่ขอบคุณสำหรับเด็กๆมันเป็นการสุดท้ายอันนี้คือคำสั่งที่ได้รับจากคุณคัมซีที่ลีดออกไปในสมาชิกในการสัมภาษณ์และสื่อสารวันนี้และเราได้เห็นว่าท่านนักเรียนและผู้สอนทุกคนที่ทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพวกเขาทำงานกับพ